Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. What we're going to do today is an Avalon the game, just kind of a play, a play style. Uh, what I want to do is I just want to go explore, fight a whole bunch of different things, um, show you different parts of the game, just because it, it's really massive for an alpha that just launched. There's a lot to it, and there's a reason I keep talking about it and making videos about it because I think it is going to be one of the top three games on WAX uh, throughout 2023. Um, it's just launched the alpha uh, a few days ago. Uh, there's a there's quite a few people that are in. I think uh, 20 to 30 people just right now, but people are, are being added uh, 10 a day, basically. Um and, and it's just a lot to it for an alpha. Um, most people don't realize, when most, most alphas on wax are very limited, really just their staking exercises kind of. Um, and what, the, what they've done for this, they've actually been working on this for well over a year and they've put a lot into it. Technically the, the version of the game is still, it's, it's, it's limited. Uh, I'm sorry, it's, it's more of a, more of a, a, a demo because there's right now there's two villages. Soon there's going to be three villages. Um, the final game that's going to launch here in August is going to be uh, much, much bigger and much more. Uh, it's going to be on a different engine um, as far as the, the program goes. So the graphics will be better. There, there's more that they can do for it. Uh, voice chat and game will be available. Just stuff like that. Um, so that's, again, the reason why I want to highlight this. What I'm doing right now... Um, one of the essential things, uh, I'm playing it the, the Templar-esque. Um, these are all alpha characters, so they're, they're going to change between now and actual launch, or now even between now and beta. They just wanted to get some, some characters in there uh, that are similar to the endpoint characters that allow you to really kind of get a feel for each of the characters. This one's the closest to the Templar, which the Templar, seem, Templar and Knight really seem to be the ones that are closest to what I'm interested in playing. Uh, the Templar does have a heal, uh, but they they are going to be going ahead and reducing that heal a little bit here in the near future. So what I'm going around here is I'm picking some grain. Uh, there's a farm field over here by by one of the mills. And then with that, with the grain, I'm going to go ahead and uh, bake, I guess you could call it bake, uh, some bread. The bread helps you heal when you're in the middle of combat. So we're going to go ahead and do that while I'm talking to you. Um, this one is, uh, we're right now, sorry, uh, let me take a step back here a second. Uh, just if you haven't seen any of my other videos, um, we are in the SD village. It's the SD guild, which is the guild that I'm part of. Uh, so all the buildings, except for I believe two of these buildings are owned by the SD guild, including these two mills, the mill right here. And this mill right here all of the houses are sd guild so it's really a guild focused village there's another village that's out there that is also a guild um but there's but what they're going to do in the future is they're going to go ahead and put uh villages that aren't guild related that that's that's going to be here for beta um they're going to put more in there so if you don't really feel like being part of a guild uh, you don't have to be, it's not a requirement, but there's a lot of benefits to being part of a guild, uh, especially the SD guild. I, I, I got to put a plug out there since it is my guild. Um, there's a lot of, uh, it's really, it's a great group of people. Plus we are trying to, uh, build it up as much as possible and help each other out. So you'll see a lot of SD players playing around. Um, there we go. I've baked as much bread as I can right now. So we're going to go over to get some buffs and then we're going to go do some exploring. Um, just for the interest of the, this video, uh, full transparency, I'm going to be going ahead and running around. Um, I, I see a chat keeps popping up there. Um, I'm going to run on foot. They do have horses that are currently available, as you can see them here. They will be going away here shortly, or they'll get to the point where you need to buy them. Um, just for the interest of the video, so I can show you all the cool different places, um, I'm going to go ahead and run it. Uh, there are portals, too. The portals allow you to jump to the other village, to the harbor, and other areas in the game. Again, not going to do that. Um, but also, I don't want to waste your time just by running around uh, quite a bit. Um, maybe maybe for, uh, we're going to go ahead and do the lit, Lich 
uh, together. So I'll, I'll use a horse for that one, but everything else I'll, I'll run. Um, just to show you the different landscape, uh, just to show you different things you can fight. But I'm also going to cut out a lot of different places because there are um, some things that, that, that we want everybody to find as players, and I don't want to show you where they all are. So there's going to be a lot of running in between uh, different areas that I'm going to chop out. So you still got to find them yourselves. It may give you a general direction where they're at, um, but at least you can go ahead and explore and find them yourselves. This is the temple. Um, and the one thing I did want to let you know is here at the temple, there is a, a guy here that, a lot, that gives you a quest. It's really the basic first quest uh, that you get in the game. You just get close enough, hit E, hit accept. And this is really the first quest of the game. So what I'm going to do is give you a hint. Uh, the wolf that you're trying to attack is that away. Uh, but I'm not going to show you exactly where it is. So we're going to go ahead and chop out of here and then jump back in uh, when I'm at the wolf. And I'll show you how, how the fighting goes. All right. So the wolf is right over this hill here. Uh, you'll see a couple of the normal gray wolves. And then you see that big white wolf there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and slaughter him. Uh, and then we'll go. We'll get the the wife wolf, wolf pelt, which is needed for this quest. Uh, you just saw it pop off there. Basically, anytime you see something that's sparkly and shiny, oops, I thought he was dead. <laughs> um, we're going to go ahead and grab it. Uh, so now that I have that, you can go ahead and kill a bunch of things. Um, I'm going to run back and hand in that quest, and we're going to go ahead on an adventure to slaughter the lich. All right, we just got back to the, the quest giver. I uh, handed it in. I don't want to show you all the text because, again, I want you to discover it for yourself. But if you look in the top right corner, you can see that that quest is complete. Now we're going to go ahead and head over to the next one. I'll show you the fighting at the next one. I just don't want to show you the path. Um, I'm sure down the road there there will be plenty of walkthroughs and how to do each of the quests. But since we're so uh, early in alpha, I don't want to show you all the details. I mentioned that before. But we are going to ride a horse. The horses, the horses are pretty neat. They do die uh, if you let them. Um, so let's go ahead. I'll jump out of this and we'll, we'll be at the, the, I think it's a citadel soon. So we'll be there here in a few seconds. Here early in alpha, I just wanted to add this note that they do have horses. The horses are free. The horses in about a week, less than a week, will be shut off or removed um, just so they can test different things. Uh, I did want to highlight this guy right here. How cool is that? Um, but and eventually they'll be for sale so you go ahead and buy it's for more people that are able to earn the money it's not just for every common person um, so horses will be a lot more rare uh, the rest of alpha and obviously going into beta and launch all right we are coming up here to the inquisitor and i apologize i think before i said the citadel that was kind of dumb it's it's the cave with the inquisitor all right, so we are here. We're going to go ahead and just get the quest from him, and I'll show you uh, running in and attacking in the 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 Lich and, and completing the next part of the quest. All right, you just run up here, hit E. Whoop, it'll let you in. Uh, and then we're going to run through here, and then we're going to start fighting. The one issue that I have uh, is my stamina. So you'll see that I, I, I'm going to run out of stamina, and I'll have to be fighting the Lich uh, just run around for a little bit till my stamina comes back up. You have all these undead skeletons or dead skeletons, however you want to say it. The nice thing about um, my weapon is it's a very broad range of attack. We're going to go ahead and heal, get some stamina. There is some glitchiness to this, but they are working through that again. We are an alpha I'm trying to get him out of his, he's glitched right now, but there we go. Now he's attacking. I um, wanted to show you the full attack range, not just the, the way to cheese it. Um, but this, the, this little thing will be fixed here shortly. Pretty sure. Um, so you just go ahead and you part of the quest is to attack him. Ooh, you can see he's attacking me pretty good now. Uh, you got all these skeletons that are around. Um, eventually, I think they're going to make this guy more difficult. Um, not just so you can't cheese him, but also uh higher i guess just a tougher tougher boss to attack um right now you can solo him uh especially if you have the the templar um eventually it'll be more of a challenge and you got to go in here with a group there we go now i grab that and then i'm going to run back out of here all right so i'm going to go ahead and hand in this just check out this place 
This is an alpha. This is early alpha game. That's pretty crazy uh, compared to anything that's right now on WAX. There, there's some other cool games that are 3D. Uh, Mercus is a great one from a uh, space perspective. There's some others, the Forge Arena, which is a good uh, first-person shooter style game. Uh, there's, but there's very few, very few on WAX that I would consider playable games like this. All right, we have gone ahead and handed in that staff, and I was able to get uh, a different staff that I can't use on this character, but I'll put in my storage. I'll show you my storage. Um, let's go ahead, uh, and I'll, I'm going to head back to the village uh, to go ahead and put the staff in the storage, show you a little bit around my house, and then we'll go and do some more, more fighting and, and challenges. All right, we are back here at town. Uh, took a little bit of a run. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to buff up. Actually, let me go ahead. This is one of my houses. Uh, I have a feeling this is going to be very popular because it's right by the forge. Again, we are in the SD village. Um, so right now they do have storage turned on. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and drop this, this staff off. Um, I'll probably start dropping these soon because you get them every time you run that quest. You see I have two here. I have three in here. Um, I'll probably start dropping. Actually, let me go ahead and drop those. Um, so but you do have additional storage, especially if you grab one of the houses, um, which I think is going to be essential down the road uh, because you only have this amount of storage um, and there's a lot of things that drop and for crafting and all that fun stuff. So let's go ahead and run out of here. Um, what I'm going to try and do quick is see if anyone's available to finish uh, or go ahead and do the raid because I'd love to get that done so I can get my badge for the day um, and then we'll do some exploring. So let me buff up here. All right, while I wait for some people to go ahead and respond about raid one, let's go ahead and uh, let's go let's go kill the witch. The witch does drop a staff, so I'm gonna go ahead. Um, there's one right down the road here, so we'll go ahead and head down there um, and find her. All right, we are in an area where we're gonna go through a path. Well, I don't know if I'm there yet. She brought a horse. <laughs> All right, let's see if rocks start dropping on our heads. Uh, there's a path in between the two villages. Uh, so right now we're just kind of exploring. Let's see if I can find the witch. Um, if rocks start, yep, there we go. You gotta watch out for these rocks. They'll get you. And there's the witch, I see the witch up here. So let's go ahead and get that out. And this is the witch. Uh, possible, definitely possible to attack uh, solo. There is spots where there's multiple witches, uh, which is a much more challenging experience. So we're just gonna, while we're waiting for uh, some people to come back for the the one quest or for the raid, we're gonna go ahead and kill a few witches and try and get the the drop. We'll farm her a little bit. So I'll show you some of that here. Uh, there's different areas and different. Um, animals there's a werewolf that you can attack uh, that drops a werewolf heart um, this witch drops um, a wand which I'm, I'll go ahead and put in my storage and, and use for my inquisitor down the road um, so let's so there we go she's back so we'll keep attacking um, we'll try and show you some multiplayer battle in here too yeah see stamina you can see I start running out of it pretty quick uh, and if you get some of the the bigger swords, uh, they're they're a lot tougher with the stamina. There we go. Still no drop. So we'll heal up. All I will do is I'll put my bread in my slot, my Q slot, so I can use that to heal down the road. It does look like a broom. Is that it? No, that was hers. So we are ready for her to attack again. Um, I did watch someone else that was playing this last night, and it took about 10 to 15 kills. So the drop rate is, is relatively high for for an item. Um, so you, as long as you can solo her or have uh, some people to play with you, um, not too incredibly difficult right now. I'm imagining it's going to be more difficult in the, down the road. Definitely gets more difficult when I don't have any stamina. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go ahead and heal up and wait till she spawns up again. We're just doing a little bit of witch farming until some people are ready for the raid. Um, I won't be able to show any of the raid. It's been requested that we don't show the raid yet. 
Um, so I won't show you that, but uh, if if you jump into here to alpha and you don't know how to run, I showed you the first three or first two parts of the quest as far as the end result and what you have to fight in those. Um, but I can't show you the actual orc section. That's they want to keep that a surprise to everybody, which I don't blame them. It's keeps the game fun, especially if you're a new person. Oh, she keeps draining my stamina. Stop draining my stamina. There we go. All right, go back up. I just realized that's what she was doing with that one spell. It drains my stamina, which is why I don't, I, I'm having a little bit more trouble with stamina than normal. All right, so in the comments down below, while we're we're waiting for her to spawn again, uh, what are your thoughts? Are, is this a game that you're you're definitely thinking about jumping into? Um, I know from my from a, just an entry point level, it's a little bit pricier to go ahead and grab a pass. Um, but if you look at just the game, just what I've showed so far, uh, they've, it's a lot of development, a lot of work that they've put into this, which warrants the price tag. Plus, uh, if you get into alpha early enough, um, you can earn the badges and you can actually convert badges into, uh, stop, stop, not getting me. Uh, you can actually convert the badges into sorry just getting a little distracted here <laughs> uh into characters which is nice it's the fact that they give that opportunity where you could potentially get two to three times the value of the pass out of it with badges and you can get drops during alpha that you're able to keep for example this this drop that i'm trying to get here from the witch uh i'll use down the road for for the inquisitor uh, for my Inquisitor, uh, and you can actually go ahead and keep those, um, which is nice because most alphas, most alphas, you basically everything's throwaway. Whatever you do during the alpha, you, you're essentially, if you get an alpha pass, you're essentially just paying for the privilege of having access to alpha. Uh, this is actually you're one paying for the privilege to to have access, but you're also uh, you're getting stuff out of it, which is neat. Um, so that's, I think that's part of the reason why the price tag is a little bit more steep uh, for the pass, but it's, it's gold pass. They have cheaper ones. The emerald and silver passes are cheaper, uh, which is nice. So let's go ahead. Uh, it looks like that we're going to be ready to run the raid one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kill the witch a few more times. Um, probably not talk, probably skip ahead for those. I'll show you if, if the, the, the staff actually drops. So you can, so you can go ahead and see it. Oh. Looks like she's been a little bugged a little bit too. Uh, so you can go ahead and see that also. Um, oops, she's going a little crazy there. I think she got stuck. Uh, but we'll jump back here and we'll, we'll do some other some other fighting and some other exploring because there's some really cool things that, that are hidden throughout the game. Um, that the only way you're going to find those if you, is if you go around and, and check them out. All right, uh, we are heading over to run uh, the the raid one. I'll just show you the multiplayer. I can't. I'm not actually going to show you within the raid. I uh, didn't have any luck with the witch. Um, killed her probably about five or six more times, uh, but she did not drop the the staff. Um, so I'm heading over here to raid one, so we can hopefully you'll see a bunch of people dancing on a rock over here. So we can see we see some. See, so there is multiplayer, uh, which you don't see from a lot of games right now. Just having a really a, a dance party on the rock. So if you guys, you know who you are, uh, you are now in my video. So congratulations, <laughs> you're in YouTube. So we're not actually going to go ahead and uh, show the, the, the actual fighting with the orc. Um, you can do that when you actually uh, see that you can gather. I'm going to grab that iron um, and we'll go ahead and play jump in here shortly so I'm gonna fast forward to when I actually uh, we, we beat this all right we just made it successfully out of raid one uh, where we killed the boss orc so we are now just heading back doing our thing I know some people are gonna go ahead to raid two uh, but a successful mission uh, we had a good a good group uh, of, of fighters in this one so it's neat uh, it's the first time I've Fought with three droid. I, I keep saying droids. Sorry, druids. 
Uh, normally it's one for a healer and then a whole bunch of melee. Uh, so it was neat to see just a whole bunch of, of people jumping in and, and being able to su be successful with that one. All right, so we're running back here a little bit. Um, I may run to another area and fight. So we'll go ahead and buff up and see how that all works out. All right, we are here at a whole other area. We just finished the, the raid one. Uh, if you look at the top right, you can see that uh, all the raid one markers are marked off. I went ahead and I ported or teleported over to the harbor, which is a completely different part of the map. Uh, you can run over there, you can portal over there. Portal costs you about 25 AVL at this point in the game, or you can run, um, it's up to you. Uh, but keep in mind that horses won't be available here in a little bit. Uh, so we are at the harbor. There's a whole bunch of quests here. There's uh, the werewolves around here. I won't show you exactly where the werewolf is. Um, there's This is where you can attack or hunt elk. If there's certain uh, weapons that need elk um, pelts. Um, so you can go ahead and attack those or hunt those. Uh, like I said, there's quests over here. Um, there's a whole other raid that's going to be over here down the road. Um, I'm not going to show you that. Uh, again, I, I hate that I have to keep saying I'm not going to show you that, but it, it, we're trying to keep some of the stuff uh, a little bit uh, so you can discover them as you're going through. The one thing I did notice, and I think they're working on improving, is there's a little bit of lag over here uh, in the harbor. Uh, at least I've noticed it personally. Um, the one thing that you do not want to do is you do not want to fall in the water. Falling in the water is currently instant death. Um, but there's a town, there's a whole village over here. Um, there's a quest. It looks like he's a quester right here. Um, I have not done that quest yet, so we'll just go ahead and check it out. Um, there's also a quest. Uh, if you look up here, she gives you a number of quests um, to gather some things, so which is uh, neat to see. Um, we're going to go ahead and check out this giant boat, which is crazy. Like I said, the the, what they've gone through and, and put together so far uh, in just an alpha is incredible. Is absolutely incredible. So, um, not I don't think I can get over there onto the boat. Um, we're going to run around this way too. Oh, maybe I can. There it is. Um, haven't really tried to get on the boat yet, but this is pretty cool. You have a boat here. Um, whoa, that's pretty cool down here. Like I said, we're just exploring a little bit. Um, it's a level. This is alpha people, alpha. Um, and they have so much more that they're going to continue to put out there. Uh, you can see a fisherman out there. You can actually fish from from the, the boats. Uh, let me go ahead and I'm going to... You get fishing poles from uh, a fishermen that you can actually kill. Uh, get out of there. Come on. Um So now you can see how my, the fisherman pool in there, or the fish, fishing pool. You can go ahead and cast. Oh, you, you got to go ahead and. Oh, I guess I can't. I don't want to fall in because I'll, I'll die if I fall in. There we go. Oh. All right. So let me go to a, a different spot. There we go. You right click to cast. You left click to go ahead and draw it in. And then sometimes you catch a fish and sometimes you don't catch a fish. Uh, that time I did not. Let's go ahead and cast it again. See if I can get... There you go. Now I'm pulling it in. So you can do different things throughout the game. You can fish. Uh, I was not able to get a fish there. Maybe it's this location. Maybe I had a tough location. But check out all this stuff. This is cool. Um, I haven't run around a lot on the harbor side I've done a lot of my exploring um, over by the SD village and the, the raids uh, so I haven't done a ton here I did find the werewolf earlier today again not going to show you that um, let's go ahead and check down here um, let's go ahead and fish here see if I can catch anything right here There we go. You see on the, the left, I did catch a, a fresh fish. Oh, whew, that is close. That is close to death right there. <laughs> oh, cool. Uh, 
Looks like I stepped down. There we go. And now I'm pulling it in. And I did not get anything that time. Let's do it one more time just to show you. And then we'll explore a little bit more. There we go. I got a fish there. Fresh fish. All right. So you can go around. You can talk to different people. You can get different quests. Ooh, you saw the lag there for a second. So yeah, you got to be super careful uh, right here, especially near the water. Um, there's a whole bunch of different areas to explore. I'm going to go ahead and switch out my sword again. Got my sword's back in there. Uh, sheath that. And we'll go ahead and run around a little bit. Explore, explore, explore. That's a big part of the game is just trying different things and exploring different areas. Um, this, sit, this town, this harbor is huge. There's going to be a lot more that comes to it down the road. Um, there's other areas far as... Uh, so you have the inspector here. The inspector here takes a quick look and charges you basically just to come in, which will be down the road. Also, um, just taking a look around. Let's see if let's go hunt some elk. Yeah, stop it. The inspectors may get you. Try and get you. Let's hunt a few elk. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some other videos also. We're gonna go ahead and uh, maybe get a group together and hunt the werewolf for a little bit. Uh, we'll also um, do some other things. This should be there. We got the elk over here. The elk are speedy, they're fast. But if you have a bow, it makes it a whole lot easier. You see the elk drop both pelts and raw meat. So you can pick those up. Pelts are used, like I said before, used for other things. Oh, we got a fox here. It's the first time fighting a fox, which is, oh, he got away. Come on, fox. Ah, uh, he keeps getting too far away. Got him. Another elk pelt. And you go around and you gather different things, and they're used for crafting in the forge. Uh, I don't think there's a forge here, but what I can do is, uh, what I'll do is I'll take us back to the SD village. Oh, I just died from that jump. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we are now back in the SD village. I actually did not mean to do that, but it worked out. Uh, again, this is the forge. I've showed you this in a different video, but you take all that stuff that you earn and you go ahead and you can craft different items. These are all just alpha items. These are basic items that are only available for now, essentially common items. Uh, once we get into beta, there, there's going to be a much more robust selection of items that you can get if you go over to the pvp area which i'm going to show at some point um, you can go ahead and collect and, and get better weapons too so lots of cool things that are available um, so if you like this kind of video let me know i'll try and do more of these i'm also going to try and do some streams where we can go ahead and talk through uh, and basically you can show you different areas and it, lots of fun stuff especially as we get further in alpha and, and i'm allowed to show more uh, but this this is just a quick sneak peek of all the different parts, and this is only a small part. Please keep in mind that I only showed you a small part and cut out a lot of the paths. So um, I hope you all enjoy. I hope you all have a great day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>